rennet is a starter, is the enzyme. After two and a half hours, the milk with the rennet, look what happens. This was liquid milk and now it's <laughs> this was liquid and now it's solid. Gel. No. Yeah. Squishy. <laughs> now it's coagulated. Oh, wow. 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 and she boils up the whey. On the side there, it's not boiling water, but boiling whey. And when the whey boils, slowly, slowly, on the top of it, raise up another type of cheese. It's a light white cream that Maria have to scream off. That Maria have to scream off. <laughs> I think that was our cue. <laughs> we are not in time. <laughs> so, all the Italians can tell me now the name of this light cream Italian cheese. Ricotta. Right. Oh. I'm Italian. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what means ricotta translated in English? Ricotta. Ricotta. The same word in English. Yeah. It means recooked. Ricotta, ah. recooked. Same word, different pronouns. So it means it's not the name of a cheese, but it's a process. Because the way have to be bought up often and often raise the cream on the top. And it's light, eh? because the fat is in the curd. We use a lot of ricotta here. We use it to fill in cannelloni, in ravioli, in lasagna, or we bake cakes. Yeah, but there's now a second reason why she had to boil it. She used it again. She mixed the whey again in the curd so that now the curd changed the consistency with the heat and with the work of her hands. And believe me, it's boiling hot now. And this is naturally the old way to show you. In the past, every farmer lady did this in this way, but now it's rare to find ladies like Maria and the farm who spend the time to make it. Too much time it takes, four or five hours. And it's not also rare to find itself. You find the mozzarella everywhere. You find it most in a round shape like a bowl, yeah. filled in the bag with the liquid. But this is very normal. She doesn't like it and she doesn't make it. Maria have different shapes for different uses. Mm. So the one that she often makes, especially in the summer, is a treccia. Treccia means braid or plug. It's a nice round braided ring. This is a shape that the people love to buy because it's nice for the presentation. You have first enjoyed to see and then you enjoy to eat. That's why she braided them. Eh? And this is a work that she has learned from the mother. Maria is the third generation of her family. She was 16 when she started to learn how to make a cheese, and she makes the cheese since she was 16. Now she's 29. <laughs> 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 I'm 25. <laughs> and this is not showtime here, you know? This is not uh, to show or she's not an actress, actress. This is the real thing here. This she makes every day, seven days a week, and that for the whole year long, so no vacation. Sometimes she said to me, Rosa, I make this eight times in the week because I dream in the night about it. Mm. Especially in the summer, because this is nice to work it when it's cold, but not when it's hot. And look how she's... Wow. Braiding it. Wow. You know the result, it's not a lot what she get out. 10% of cheese comes out of the quantity of milk that you get from the cows. To give an idea, 15 braids a day. So this is not enough to make business in the stores. This we serve here to the guests who comes to visit our farm. And then she sells it also to the local uh, clients. Eh? Now if you want, you can take a nice picture with Maria and the braid, she loves that part. She doesn't speak English, but she understands it. But before you take the picture, wait, hold on just one second. She wants to tell you something. So listen and then take the picture after this. Can her daughter do this? 
Yes, we need a man who mats the cows. Oh, <laughs> yes, we have no man to mat the cows, only the husband. There's no men in no the man barn? No man who mats it, no. She only has her husband to move. Wow. Yeah, no, only she, only the husband. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, you are here not only to get it explained or demonstrated, you have not to get it served, you will eat it. You will have now a lot of things from the farm served on the table. I heard about a new concept in the States, they call, call it farm to the table. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. For, this for you it's new, for us it's old. <laughs> uh -huh. So you're in the right place to have farm to the table now. But before...